Hello friends, thank you for joining me today. I was asked by a few subscribers to make a video on emergency preparedness basics. Please remember that this is my opinion from my personal experience. I'm sure there are plenty of information out there already. Please do your own research and make your own conclusions to your situation. Just to give you a little background, I've been prepping for over 30 years. I was in scouting as a scout as well as a leader for over 12 years. I spent up to two weeks in the back country with only what I could carry in. So that means no electricity, no running water. The scout's motto is be prepared. And everyone knows the old saying, better safe than sorry. You're probably wondering why I have this video of background. First rule is don't panic. Controlling your stress and having peacefulness of mind is very important. Stress will reduce your immune system and will cause you to make mistakes or make poor decisions. Get enough sleep. Don't stay indoors too long. Enjoy the outdoors a little or even sit by a sunny window every day will reduce stress. Go for walks if weather permits. Don't watch too much news. Stay connected with friends and family. Maybe even leave a note with your phone number to a neighbor that you've never met. You never know when you need help or they will. We're not in this alone. There are many websites you can access to learn more about preparedness, such as the Red Cross, the CDC, Radio.gov, and even your local government websites. I will put a list in the description below. You probably already have a lot of essentials already, so don't panic. There's no need to hoard. Food production these days is highly automated. Our transportation system is intact, so shelves should be restocked soon. The essentials are water and food as well as medication for those with chronic illnesses. It's always good to have 90 day supply of medications on hand. Since this is a scenario where you are self quarantined or stuck at home from 2 weeks to 3 months, we assume electricity, gas and water is still available. For water, only buy a bottle of water if you plan on being mobile outside your home. Most of us have reusable sports bottle anyways. Just refill them with clean water from home or refill the empty water bottles that you already bought. Drinking tap water is safe. If you don't like the taste of tap water, filter it with a breed of filter which uses activated carbon. You can also use powder mixtures like Tang or other drink mixes which can hide some of the tap water taste. Chilling it or boiling it will also change the taste as well. Making tea from tap water is also an easy way to hide the taste. If you don't trust the water supply, then boil it or chemically sterilize it with household bleach. Boiling it is sufficient to kill pathogenic bacteria, viruses, and protozoa. If the water is cloudy, let it settle and filter it through a clean cloth or coffee filter. Bring water to a boil for at least a minute. To use household bleach for disinfecting water, add two drops of bleach per quart or liter of water. Stir it well and let the mixture stand for half an hour before drinking. The recommended day allowance is a gallon of water per person per day. Dry goods such as rice, pasta, beans, oatmeal, cereals, beef jerky, instant noodles, and even flour are good staples. If you watch our old videos, you can make noodles and bread at home with very few dry ingredients. For canned foods, most expiration dates on foods and cans range from 1 to 4 years. Some are longer if you store it and undented in a cool dry place. Frozen food is another good source for long term use as well. You just can't be as picky with food and may discover new tastes in the process. Don't overeat, use the serving size as a guide. Shopping from home is also an easy option these days. Amazon, Walmart, grocery, local grocers have apps that can order from home. You can also get an updated stock information so you don't have to be driving around searching for food or supplies. Again, don't panic, don't stress. We're all in this together, so don't be afraid to ask for help. I will make a more extensive video with emergency preparedness if there is interest. 
Best wishes. Take care. Thank you for watching.